Hello guys, welcome to another new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this title animation on Filmora X. So let's start the video. So open your Filmora X, then go sample colors and add your background color. This time I choose orange color for my video. But you can choose any color. Then go color correction for better color. Then choose fantasy presets for bright look. Ok as you can see it's good now. Then go titles and add default title into upper track. Then double click on this and go advanced. Then select text and delete this. Then add a circle from here. Then delete middle text. Then go down and change shape color to white. And click OK. Then resize the circle shape like this. And place in middle. Then click OK. Then copy this text. And add a new video track. And paste in here. Then go advanced. And change shape color to background color. Click pick screen color option and copy background color. Then click OK. Then resize the position like this. And place in middle. Then click OK. Then again copy this and paste on upper track. Again go advanced and this time change color to white. Then again resize this and adjust position. Ok now as you can see it looks great. Ok now let's add the text part. Add another default text into upper track. Then double click on this and go advanced. Then type your text here. Then change text font as you like. Then change text color to black and change text size so that it fits in circle shape. Then add second line text if you need. And select this line and increase size for interesting view. Then change line spacing for remove middle empty part. Now adjust position in middle. Ok as you can see it's perfect. Ok now hide this text layer. Ok now let's add animation. Double click on first shape and go animation. Then add first keyframe here. Then set scale value to 0. Then go 10 frames later. Set scale value to 130.
then go 5 frames later and reset scale value that means 100%. Let's check preview. As you can see it's animated. Then select second shape and go 3 frames later and add a keyframe and set scale value to 0. Then go 10 frames later and this time change scale value to 1 to 0. Then go 5 frames later and reset scale value. Let's check preview. Ok then select third shape and go 3 frames later from second shape's first keyframe and set scale value to 0. Then go 10 frames later and set scale value to 1 to 0. Then again go 5 frames later and reset scale value. So as you can see it's animated smoothly. Ok now let's make ending animation. Go where you want ending animation start. Select third layer and add a keyframe. Then go 5 frames later and set scale value to 1 to 0. Then go 10 frames later and set scale value to 0. Then select second shape and go 3 frames later from first keyframe. Then add a keyframe. Then go 5 frames later and change scale value to 1 to 0. And then go 10 frames later. And set scale value to 0. Let's check a preview. Then select first shape and go 3 frames later from upper keyframe. Add a keyframe here. Then go 5 frames later. And set scale value to 130. And go 10 frames later. And set scale value to 0. Let's check preview. Ok now let's check full animation. Ok now let's add the title animation. Unhide this. Go third shape first keyframe. And go back one frame. And drag title in here. Then place timeline bar in keyframe position. And go animation. Add a keyframe here. Then go last keyframe position. And set rotate value to 360. Let's take preview. As you can see it's rotating smoothly. Then go first keyframe. And set scale to 50. Then go second keyframe position. And set scale to 1 to 0. Then go extra 1 frame in the first part. And set opacity to 0. Let's take preview. As you can see our first part is done. Let's make the ending animation. Go ending first keyframe position. And add a keyframe. Then go last keyframe and set rotate to 0.
ok then go second keyframe and set scale to 1 to 0 and go last keyframe and set scale to 50 then go one frame later and set opacity to 0 and you're done let's take preview let's check our full preview Okay, as you can see our effect is done, so let's export this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more cool tutorial. And also leave a comment which effect you want on Filmora. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.